Hey everyone, Toy House here. With the Burning Crusade comes new leveling areas. One that is particularly good is the Blood Elf Zone known as the Ghost Lands. The Ghost Lands have plenty of quests and draw attention from all Horde races. But why do people go out of their way to go to the Ghost Lands? Well, that's because there's one special quest chain that has some great rewards for all the classes. And it's one that you're not going to want to skip. Today, I'll be walking you through this special quest chain that, and the rewards that it gives. If you like the sound of that, then don't forget to click the like button as hard as you can, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. So it all starts at level 16. Magister Candrist gives the quest, the Farstrider Enclave. This quest has you go talk to the Ranger Vina at the Farstrider Enclave in the Ghostlands. Once you go there, Ranger Vina gives you the quest, the Traitor's Shadow, which introduces you to a new villain. Darkon Drethir. Vina sends you to Dawnstar Spire to gather information, which eventually leads you to a dusty journal. As you skim through the pages, you're overcome by an unnerving sense of being watched. This leads to hints of the past. The book details Darkon's plans, and now you're told to bring this news to Magister Kendris at the Sanctum of the Sun. When you report to Magister Kendris, he rewards you with some decent green items, and then he passes you on to the next quest, the Twin Ziggurats. You're off to the Bleeding Ziggurat and the Howling Ziggurat to recover the Stone of Light and the Stone of Flame. Once you get those, then you'll get to choose a sword or offhand that will be used to take on Dark Han. Each of these two items has an effect that will deal 500 damage and silence the target for 5 seconds. Of course, they can only be used on Dark Han. Finally, you get the quest you've been waiting for, the Traitor's Destruction. This quest sends you to kill Dark Han and bring his head back to Magister Kendris at the Sanctum of the Sun. So you head down to Deathholm and use your newly found weapon to defeat him. And when you do, you are rewarded with four options. Staff of the Sun, Far Strider's Longbow, Dawnblade, or the Sindori Warblade. Now the reason it's so important to do this quest is because not only do you get a bunch of experience while doing this chain, but it also sets up your character for faster leveling after getting a great new weapon. This is especially important for gear-dependent classes like warriors, who will excel once they get the Sindori Warblade. Of course, that weapon is also a great weapon for paladins as well. Dawnblade is great for rogues, Farstrider's Longbow is fantastic for a hunter, and all staff-wielding spellcasters will want to get the Staff of the Sun for that plus 10 intellect and plus 4 spirit. What's nice about this quest also is that it's not a huge time investment. Sure, it can be a little tough, maybe, but compared to running a dungeon and getting a blue to drop, winning the roll, you know, this quest is a guaranteed blue item that is going to speed up your leveling speed significantly. And, you know, comparatively, it's just much, much easier to do compared to a dungeon. So everyone, that is the quest, that is the item, this is the quest chain you're not going to want to skip in the Burning Crusade when you make a new t character. You're going to want to go to the Ghost Lands and pick up this quest, complete it, and get your amazing blue item. So, that's all for this video, guys. Nice, quick, short one, but very important. You're not going to want to skip this quest. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.